Welcome back to Back to the Future, guys. I think I figured it out while I was away. Well, actually, while the other video was saving, because I used Camtasia, so it has to, you know, save and all that stuff while I'm recording the games. But anyways, besides that, I think I figured out what we're supposed to do. So, um, let's talk to Emmett, because he got the door open, obviously. You can see it over there. So let's talk to him real quick. Those who once ate delicacies are destitute in the street. Cheery. Alright, I really didn't want to click on that, but alright, let's click on Emmett. Emmett. Yes? Let's see, nice door jam. Oh, that's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So... We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Alright, um... Alright, now that the door is open, yeah, let's, let's go through with, uh... The rest of the plan, which was eat the soup, get the guy to move over, hit the pipe, watch it fall, and I think I think I should be I think I'm gonna have to walk out, uh, talk to Edna, and then tell her that uh, someone needs soup, and then follow her and get it from her. That seems like it's the most logical plan that I could come up with. Actually, on hindsight, that seems pretty convoluted, okay. but you know what? I'm going to uh, do it anyways. Some more ideas see if that works. Your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Well, we'll just go down the line. Paprika. Paprika? Paprika? Uh, I, I just think it could use a little uh, color. Color? Hmm. Yeah, because there's a reserve for charity sign over there. So, all right. All right. So, I'll have to make him get the spice. Alright, so he's walking over the thing, you know, he's stirring it in, blah, 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 blah. Alright, let's hit the pipe real quick. Pipe, 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 go. Hit it, dude. <clears throat> Yo, hit it. What are you doing? Stop staring at it. Alright, alright, let's see. Ah, see? Alright, so now there is... Soup on the thing. Oh wow! Ah, wow! I didn't even have to walk in. Come for some more soup. Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup <laughs> wow. before I gag on the hypocrisy. <laughs> Oh crap, I'm gonna have to sneeze. Yeah, I'm just recording this on the same day as the last episode, so I'm still sick. Alright, alright, there. Hold the sneeze in. Hold the sneeze in. Alright, alright, I think we're good. <laughs> and they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. Alright, so let's get out of here. Oh, guys, so Emmett's with us, though, so I don't even have to bother filling him in. He should already know. <laughs> oh, you know how you, like, how you, like, hold in a sneeze, like, you're not like you know when like, you have to sneeze and then but you know you can't sneeze so then you hold in the sneeze. All right, walk. It. All right. So then like now my eyes are all tearing up just because of that. It's really annoying right now. All right. Uh, let's talk to her because now she has the. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. The quote unquote. I'm afraid soup. I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. <laughs> Uh, I know where the Stay Sober Society can meet. I know a place state. where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh, where? The Brown Residence and the Bomb Speakeasy, the police station in the park. At the... Oh, yeah, the Doc's Brown house. Residence. That'll work. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend it's only Emmett four Sundays. we accept. And the offer couldn't have come at a better moment. It's almost time for the meeting to begin. Let's see, I know a charity that needs a soup delivery. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh? Who? Stay Sober Society. Yeah, alright, that might Let's work. Stay Sober Society. That's right! They'll soon be getting wow. at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. <laughs> I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. He's like, what? Uh, wait there! Harry! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? Don't you get it? 
You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch, but we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No, out of the question. Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're friendly, they're well behaved, they're sober. They're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. <laughs> well, okay, but a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. They'll be quiet. They'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. <laughs> you hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible! But I promise make strictly think of the stay service. So, okay, then forget the whole thing. Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! And Dr. McCoy. <laughs> you will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I <laughs> thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, <laughs> I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, come on, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good. <gasps> come on, let's go. Time waits for no man. Mm, well, if you have a time machine, but, you know, who has one of those, right? Are you sure this is going to work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Hey, how? Oh, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, <laughs> what? hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Um, what? <laughs> I was going to pay a test on this. Could you repeat that in English? Electro what? Yeah, could you repeat that in English? Uh... Hey, Matt? Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You tend to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Tend to the what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But oh crap! Uh, coming, father. Well, this is this father. will uh, be oh, interesting, all right? Father, me, child. Claw may be your burning passion, father, burning. but it is not mine. Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Release, Bell. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. Food. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Damn it! Get back here! Woo. We're a quarter of the way done. <laughs> You're going to find out. What do you call room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. I electro crank. You know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. <laughs> Someday you have children and why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Just He's not getting so hot under the collar, Pop. Oh crap, um fire I'm gonna say. Alright, good job, good job. Sweet, two more to go. Keep up the good work. I'm trying to concentrate. It's really. There is a flame inside me that cannot be quelled by your leaders, the gobbly good father. What are they feeding you in that school of yours? You look like a skeleton. Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. Bacteria. I have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Pressure. Hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Fire. And I am shocked at your behavior, young man. You really want to vent our dirty laundry in public like this? Then you keep bellowing like that. Come down, come down. If you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. Fire. Your ancestors are spinning in their graves right now. Almost there. Alright, we're doing pretty good, pretty good. Uh, coming, father! I don't know what's eating you, father, but I wish it would go on a diet. Ooh. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statutes? Sure, not getting so hot right under the collar, Pop. Can't you see this is Fire. eating me up inside? My Galileo's rotations. Do you ever listen to yourself? Pressuring go, me. Go, 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 go. You don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 that years. So food, man. Stop being such a crank! Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Can't you see this is eating me up inside? Alright, so food, current, food. Oh man, man, that was. We'll have to take this up later, Pop. That My was intense. Boil over. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. That was uh, pretty intense, man. At the end, there was like okay. four at the same Your time. Dad sounded. It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We. <laughs> Everything's like. Oh. Just like broken in the background. Eureka! Well, I'm glad that uh, worked out for one of us. Power drill and you and, and I can. I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for DC leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Harry. When can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Three days, one week. A month to six weeks. Seeing how the government takes forever to work, a month to six weeks. Oh, in about, I'd say. <laughs> I, I can't. Huh? Emmett, I, I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's <coughs> somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. Oh, poor Emmett. I'll get it back to you, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. 
<laughs> okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. I know that seems extremely Come unsafe. On, start. I know that just happens to be someone riding the bike. Harry. Oh, yeah, did you not see the the the, the You're drill? Too late. Too late. Doc's not supposed to be. Wait, she... Doc! So, wait, we're moving she... him to another facility for safekeeping. Oh, I better go get a quote from the police chief. So wait, wait, wait. So she saw him trying to break Doc out of jail, but she... oh well, that's because Doc burned down. Paddy wagon intercepted. Sorry, I'm confused. Suspect slain. Never mind. And they're still after him. How am I gonna rescue him now? All right, we need to cut it because it's over 16 minutes.